I wonder if you can reflect on what virtues uh, academics need to, to flourish in, in this day and age, and then perhaps what virtues Christian academics in particular need in the, the Western Academy. Well, virtues is, is, a way of, is a way of talking about what one needs to be disposed to do, disposed to choose. Um, and virtue is just a good disposition. Uh, so th there are intellectual virtues which are needed to accomplish an intellectual task and, and also that might be needed to accomplish a, an immoral um, task for a tyrant um, of successfully delivering some kind of program or machine or whatever. Uh, and those are real intellectual virtues of, of discipline and, and self-criticism and attention to data and unwillingness to put your thumb on the scales of the data to get the answer that you would like to get and, and, and so on, all of which is quite important and demanding. But all should, I think, be put in a, in a wider framework of valuing knowledge and truth, uh, knowledge of truth, truth as the object, uh, for its own sake. And then giving that it in turn its own wider perspective of truth uh, as, yes, a good for its own sake, but also for the sake of everyone who, who should be helped to participate in it. And ultimately, in the purposes of the Lord, who is the source of everything about which we can make true or false um, propositions. So f finding w one's um, place I as an acting person, acting as a scholar, um, in that wider frame is, I think, uh, necessary to, to orient one's self in, in the way that could be called a, a, a scholarly virtue in, in a richer sense than the virtues of the, of the perhaps sinister uh, scientist or uh, historian of, of the regime who, who can rewrite the history and, and rub out the bad guys who were good guys. Um, so I've listed most of them, but fidelity to this ultimate p horizon of reality and its source um, is, is really the source of all the particular virtues. 